Good evening, Nosoitha. It's been described by a judge as a horrifying case of sustained neglect leading to the death of a vulnerable, bedridden child at the hands of her own parents. That child was Kaylee Titford, and tonight her mother and father are starting jail terms. Kaylee was 16 when she was found dead in her bedroom at her home in Newtown. She was morbidly obese and being kept in dis conditions described as inhumane. Well, this was the first time broadcasters were allowed to film a Crown Court hearing in Wales, and our reporter, Charanpreet Kerr, was there. Well, Jen, as you say, today, Kayleigh Titford's parents were sent to jail for the failures that led to her death. Her dad, Alan Titford, received a sentence of seven years and six months. Her mum, Sarah Lloyd-Jones, six years. Now, he was convicted in a trial at the start of the month. She actually pleaded guilty to gross negligence manslaughter last year, and that's why she received a lesser sentence. Now, today is actually the first time that we've heard some of the details about Sarah Lloyd-Jones's role in her daughter's death. And just a warning that you may find some of those details and the pictures in my report distressing. Funny, determined and fiercely independent. That's how the judge described Kaylee Titford before her life was cut short just after her 16th birthday because of the failures of those who should have cared for her. You, Sarah Lloyd-Jones, her mother, and you, Alan Titford, her father, caused her death by shocking and prolonged neglect over lockdown, which you, by your guilty plea, Sarah Lloyd-Jones, and a jury by a unanimous verdict, Alan Titford, have proved to be gross negligence manslaughter on your part. A few years earlier, Kayleigh's story was different. Here she is at a pop concert. She loved wheelchair basketball and did whatever she could for herself. That all changed in March 2020, when the pandemic meant Kaylee was shut up at her home in Newtown, reliant on her parents. In the months before her death, they spent more than £1,000 on takeaways. She became so obese that she couldn't use her wheelchair, developing sores that became infected and led to her death. Today, Kaylee's parents face prison. The ulcers on Kaylee's body caused by pressure sores, lack of hygiene, lack of movement and lack of professional care were the worst the expert had ever seen. When police searched the family home, Kaylee's room was a dirty dumping ground. Her bed soiled and infested with maggots. The prosecution described texts Kaylee sent to her mum, complaining about the stink in her room, her leg leaking from bed sores, and the flies that landed on her body. Sarah Lloyd Jones simply replied, They like you, lol. Titford's defence claimed the family was let down and help not made available to them. But texts show the family was offered help and failed to respond. The judge refused to accept that outside agencies could be blamed or the couple's attempts to blame each other. I find it impossible to say that one parent was more to blame than the other. They were both equally responsible and they were both equally culpable. A child protection review into Kaylee's death will now take place and the Welsh Government said they would carefully consider the findings and recommendations that result from this tragic case. Well, the details we heard in court today about Kaylee's final hours were truly harrowing. Now, her parents sat side by side in the dock. Alan Titford had his head in his hands for most of the day's proceedings until the moment that the judge told him that he could and should have done more for his daughter when he looked up at the judge. Sarah Lloyd-Jones stared straight ahead and showed no emotion. Now, the press gallery was full. This was not only the culmination of a really significant trial, but also a moment we've not seen before, the first televised sentencing in Wales. So, for many re reasons, a day to be remembered. Charon Preet, thank you. That's Charon Preet Carer at Swansea Crown Court.